Hindus. Hindus. You're getting caught up with Murti Puja. Uh, you mushrik. <laughs> I'm with you. Stop worshipping idols. I'm just going by Hindu paintings that I saw, right? Or a guy with like an elephant head, you know, yes. Ganesh. And then, you know, Hanuman, the monkey yes. god. So if you pray to them, you think that's wrong, you should pray to the one God, yep. right? Okay. So you would agree Hinduism's wrong about that aspect. I'm not saying punishment or anything, yep. right? Christianity is wrong about them worshiping Jesus, right? You think the fastest way to God is to, through Sikhism, right? Before Guru Nanak, before the Gurus began, what was the truth? Cool. Exactly. You can educate me now. So the fastest way to God back then was the best way I can describe it is that there was no individual truth. Even in Sikhi right now, there's no individual, there's no so wait, objective oh, oh. truth, right? The, the, so hold on, hold on. I, I want to understand that, right? No objective truth. So if you were to say that Jesus is not God and somebody says Jesus is God, one of them has to be right and wrong. One of them, yep. Okay, so there is objective truth. But that's because we, we, we know now. So before this time, how could there be no... Was Jesus God before then? No. So there was objective truth even okay. then, right? Okay. Hold on, hold on, I got you. Okay. So before Sikhism, there were Christians, right? And there were Hindus, and there were Muslims. Muslims were praying to one God. Hindus were praying to Ram, Ganush, yep. yep. Gagandeep, right? And Christians were praying to Jesus as God. Me and you agreed, now, objectively, Christians saying Jesus is God is wrong. Not punishment, no judgment, just saying it from your opinion is wrong. Hindus praying to Ganesh yep. or to Kali Mata yep. or to the rats or to monkeys yep. or to the Gau Mata. Oh, I'm sorry, they have a lot. I'm trying to be fair, right? It's wrong objectively. Right? You would agree Muslims praying to one God is correct objectively, right? So before Sikhism, what was the objective truth? Because yeah, obviously you agree there's objective wrong. Right? Yeah, again, like this is this ties in with the the objective and the reason why Sikhi came. Okay. Sikhi didn't come as a separate religion. Okay. They believe that it's a path, a path. Within okay. a path, there's many different ways, right? I got you. I can walk. But, but it's very recent, 500 years. So what has been the path from that before 500 years from the time of Adam? We don't say, we don't say, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, no, we don't believe in Adam. We don't have any. You don't believe in Adam and you? No, we don't believe oh, in well. Adam and Eve, right? How did human begin? That, that's a different story. I won't get into that. All right. right. So, what you're saying... Okay, but, but humanity did begin at a time. Yep. And there's been hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years, because Moses, Abraham, you do believe they existed, right? Yep. Okay. So, from that whole time, let's say you were in the time of Moses. Yep. Who would you follow? I would, I would follow the... Whoever I'm born into, whoever... So if, you, time, so if you were Christian at a time where Christianity is worshipping Jesus, yeah. you would just worship Jesus? If that was my... If that was what I was doing at that time, right. I truly believe... And but, if but, I but me and you agreed that's objectively wrong. Okay, okay. Yes, we, we're right now, right? Uh -huh. You're trying to find the objective truth and subjective truth, right? Okay. It's a key. We have objective truth and subjective truth as well. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up uh -huh. is because you shouldn't be punished for your devotion to a different God. Did I say anything about punishments? Oh, wait, wait, what do you mean? What I'm saying is, I'm not talking about punishments right now. I'm just saying yes. you and me agreed that there is an objective truth. And me and you agreed that a Christian saying Jesus is God is objectively wrong. And me and you agreed that Hindu praying to Ram and Sita and is objectively wrong. Yeah. I said 500 years ago, before Sikhism began, from the hundreds of thousands of years of humanity, what was the objective truth at that time? There was no Sikhism. I could say, I could say Sanatan Dharam. I could say, but, but Sanatan Dharam. But the reason why, the reason so, let's take that. Sanatan Dharam did believe before Sikhism to worship Ram. But you said that's objectively wrong. So how could it be objectively a truth? Yeah. The reason why it was objectively wrong is that they didn't take into Mul Sarup into account. Once they you take, take Mul Sarup into account, what is so that? We believe, right, that the what's moon syrup? Moon syrup, right? That means the the syrup given by a call, right? So all of these dev to dev there. You're gonna have to explain God, this yeah. terminology, all right? All these you gods, could be saying Bangla terms right now. I wouldn't know the difference, so don't yes, lose. All of these gods and goddesses, right? Uh -huh. They are aspects of the true one God that me and you are talking about, okay. all right? So the okay. true one God, they come in places, right? And I don't believe that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, so, so right now, why would it be then objectively wrong to worship Ram 
if he's only a if reflection. You take, if you take into Musarab, it's not objective or not. But you already said you said it was. But that's if you don't take into Musarab. What do you mean? So if, if somebody in, worships if, Ram, if I say I love the infinite aspect of Allah, okay, right, beautiful. I love it. I love the infinite accent, and I just pray on that, and if I ever just devote it to that, do you think that's wrong? No, because you're that's worshiping same, Allah. That's the same. No, no, thing, no. Right? You're not worshiping so, other than Allah. If you're worshiping Ram, you're not worshiping Allah. Ram, right, is the manifestation. I don't believe that. Oh, that's fine. Okay, I'm now. As a Hindu that says that today, then why did you say it was objectively wrong for him to worship Ram today? Because his worship of Ram didn't change after Sikhism came. Hinduism didn't change, right, from the Sikhism coming and going. No. Samatha Dharma has been the same. Yep. So if somebody was following Samatha Dharma today, yep. They're not saying this aspects and all. They're praying to Ram. But this, but this belief is in Hinduism already. Right. But but then what's the difference between your belief and Hinduism's belief? The, what's the main belief, right? Yes. That we say now the now you guys are getting too caught up with these uh, they have to, they have to they these don't think they are. This is a announcement to all of humanity, right? Okay, all of so humanity. Hindus, all of humanity, humanity. Hindus. Muslims uh, pray to one Allah, so we don't get caught up. Like, anything. Yeah. We don't worship yeah, anybody yeah. but one Allah. Yep. So we're so not getting caught say, up with anything. Yep. So these guys, right? You guys are getting too caught up with one thing. With what? With uh, doing Murti Puja. We don't do not, Murti Puja. No, I'm not talking about you. Oh, no, I'm talking about Muslims. Huh? We're not getting caught up with anything, right? Oh, no, no. Okay, good, good. All right, go ahead. Oh, Hindus, Hindus, you're getting caught up with Murti Puja. Uh, you mushik. I'm with you. Stop worshipping idols. You do believe one God. Yes. If we left all the worship that's other than the one God and pray to just one God, wouldn't that be the fastest way? That is Muslim. All right, to be Muslim, bro. Gotcha, right, man. Bro, that, we do the same, we believe right. the same, we believe right, basically but, the same thing, right? And, and you believe Muhammad Sallallahu is a messenger? We believe that he was a messenger. Okay, yes. good, me too, a mess. I'm not saying the only messenger, yeah. right? Abraham, Moses, Jesus, yeah, message. We don't believe that Quran was divine revelation. Okay. We don't believe that. Where did the Quran come from? We believe that it was, maybe it was divine revelation. Right. We, don't, we don't get into this. We don't get why not? Into, because That's very the important. Why, the reason why we don't get into this is because Sikhism came, right? So 500 years. Bajagrad said this, right? So imagine there's a bucket and all these prophets and everything, right? You put a leaf on top, that's the guru. Guru Maharaj says, yo, you're a Muslim. Is he a prophet? Oh, yeah. uh, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. No, he's, he's not a prophet. Okay. He's God. So, he's what? He's God. He's God? He's God. So, we believe this comes in. God's the leaf? No, no. Okay. I'm confused by that example. That was a, you got a example. bucket and you throw a leaf and you said that. Imagine in the bucket. Okay. Right? It's full to the brim with water. Okay. Right. Okay. With water. And all these water, uh, okay. let's just say these water molecules are like saints, prophets, all of them. Okay. All of them, right? And they're all preaching the word of God, right? They're all, right. all doing it right. All right. And then if you add more water, right, the water will spill. Right. So, all right. The, so what the good is here to do is which guru? all the ten gurus. So all they're the not God, though. No, they are. They are God. They're, they're synonymous with God. So wait, wait, hold on. I, 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 I never heard this before. So the gurus are God. The gurus are God. You so, worship the guru? Yes. Yeah. Because they. So you don't worship no. one God then? No. Okay. So this is again. If I. You, you just gave me ten. 